This is a little light. It was my very first story, and I'm delighted to share a little bit more about it with you. The story is connecting children with their inner light so that they can shine. I was sitting on a hillside in Scotland with my journal, and this poem wrote itself, and straight away I knew it had to be illustrated. So I went and found my friend. Her name is Rosie Baluzzi, and Rosie and I created the first pictures of my first ever storyline. I had no idea that this was the beautiful seed that was going to go all the way through into the creation of this full collection of stories. Uh, the book starts with a snuggle breathing meditation, as you'd expect. Uh, I breathe for me, I breathe for you, I breathe for us, and I breathe for all that surrounds us. When we do that, uh, it helps us attune and regulate. And then... Once upon a time, there was a little light who intended to shine a rainbow so bright. And in the story, the little boy learns all these things that he needed to know, but some of them were wrong and blocked up his flow. So it is a story about health. It's a story about well-being. It's really a story about the essential quality of who we are right in the heart of ourselves. Um, and... Uh, it's also got some messaging around wholeness and around care uh, so that we can be healthy and well and the light can shine through. At the end, the activity page is a, a process of turning on your inner light switch, putting your hands on your belly, breathing in and setting intention, letting go of uncomfortable feelings and then stretching the body. And then when we put these dimensions of ourselves together with essence, intentionality, uh, energy, and physical body, we come into this state of wholeness where we can get balanced health and well-being. That is a little light. Uh, the very first story uh, in what then grew into this collection of Conscious Bedtime Stories.